हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक आवर ऑनलाइन क्लास साइंस सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर सिक्सटीन चैप्टर दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर ओके सो व्हाट इज दैट इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर हाउ यू हैव यूटिलाइजिंग एंड व्हाट इज दैट ऑलरेडी आई हैव यू हैव डिस्कस एंड व्हाट आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ वाटर वी हैव डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो बट स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट lack of water and excess of water that means lack of water means also will face the problem plenty of water also will face the problem yes that about that we are going to discuss that is called as digester okay water digester or water as a digester water digester is generally two types general one is we are facing that one draft another one is flood draft kya hota what is that draft draft means the scarcity of means is ca scarcity of water that means when that rains uh, won't get after a long periods like a years years five years ten years if like that we won't get that water, uh, rain then we will face that uh, what is that scarcity of uh, water that means we won't get that uh, totally water by that way we will face that uh, flood uh, sorry drought okay and uh, sometimes what will happen in the long period but continuously the rain will come that is it will create that uh, floods that means uh, everywhere water will be available so uh, it, it will be damage our that uh, ecosystem so it will damage our that uh, houses it will damage to the roads and all the things it will be affected by that way so this special what happen that more excess water it will be make problem and in total scarcity of water also to make the problems so that is called as a digester water as a digester let us discuss about that special first digester that is the drought in the video in this video we will discuss so see what are the digester about that you should see deficiency deficiency means what lack of deficiency means lack of the scarcity of water the deficiency and excess of rain water both can be digester both can be digester either deficiency or the excess if there is jada water mil raha hai what is how we are getting the water one is rain water especially the due to the rain water it is making that problem see if there is no rain then will form that drought if that more rain then it will form the it will face that what up floods so this both are the digesters one is a drought another one is a flood what mean by drought it refers to a period like a year or more more than a year in which there is an unequal scarcity of rain is called as a drought that means see as you will how like that rain season that water we are getting like that if you will not get for one year or two years or four years total there is no water there is no rain then that will it will declare as a drought okay and due to the drought what are the effects how that human beings or that water cycle or environment or the ecosystems how it is affecting that we are going to discuss so if there is no rain fall for a long period it leads the serious hydrological imbalance hydrological balance mean imbalance means totally that water uh, problems will face that totally water imbalance it will come okay due to that so many members will die due to that thirsty or uh, dehydration and uh, there is no we won't get that agriculture uh, cannot do and uh, there is no water for taking bath or we cannot take that water uh, we cannot get that water for consumption so so many way so many things uh, it will be create the problems so that uh, what is that uh, affecting that we will discuss by the point wise acute acute water crisis can be have the following effects one of the so many following effects are i have written that one by one we have to discuss first of all the soil dries off completely becomes hard begins to crack and gradually becomes infertile so when that uh, long periods there is no rain what will happen that our it actual water water a large amount of water needs for that agriculture so if there is no water then what will happen that means that the land where that soil or where that our agriculture field it will become strong and hard and it will form the crack crack do you know the like holes like it will form the soils will be tight and they will be make that crack and by that way what will happen the fertility that whatever that soil contains the fertility that it will be loss okay so it will become infertile okay the water table is a drought affected area goes down that is the ground water becomes scarce 
means it water table means what is that there is one layer of that water is under the ground and whenever that under the ground water it will be go down means it will be decrease because of uh, there is no water there is no rain so if there is no rain that uh, water cannot sink into the ground so that water level will decrease and the, that is called as water table the water table will go down okay so that is called where that affected area that means where is that drought affected area that area they won't get that underground water also they won't get third the water level in the wells and the ponds etc in the drought affected area goes down whenever we will dig that well or that uh, we will keep that uh, hand pumps we want to get but uh, water because of drought drought area affected those area that uh, there is the water table will go to down so we want to get the water by the well or pumping ponds due to the infertile soil the scarcity of water gradually in the whole vegetation of drought affected area is lost we cannot do that vegetation because of the drought area that uh, there is no fertility uh, infertility will become that uh, uh, soil will become very strong that plants cannot uh, penetrate their roots in, inside so it cannot be stand properly so that by that way if there are so many due to that causes what will happen that it will become it will affect to that uh, vegetative propagation or okay, vegetation and uh, where that area it will lose that uh, its factor drought leads to the stock shortage of food increasing the poverty of reduced health and poor quality of our life so if this is drought if uh, it will be leads then shortage of that water the food because if there is no agriculture then that food scarcity will be in increased because of that so what will happen when that uh, that agriculture that things uh, that uh, crops cannot develop in that area or in that whole uh, that uh, where that uh, uh, agriculture is developing where that crops are developing in that area if it will affect that special drop then they cannot uh, produce they cannot uh, improve that uh, what uh, agriculture by that way the sort, uh, it will face that what uh, shortage of the foods many humans as well as animals die of the dehydration and a thirst due to the thirsty if there is no water so many animals those are living in that uh, jungles they won't get water because of the drought that water that ponds lake that all will dried up and due to that uh, what will happen we cannot get the water even the human beings also due to dehydration and thirst they will die next last one is that it is the disturb the water cycles then whenever it is there is no water then what will happen that uh, so by the sunlight it cannot be water evaporates if there is no ponds no water nothing is there then how can it will be evaporates if there is no water evaporates then it cannot condense and it won't be red as usual it will form that water like in desert already uh, uh, informed that in previous classes do it will form that one uh, like a desert so it is very difficult to stay or exist the life in that area okay students so it is very important points you should remember and write on your notebook thank you all students and next digester we will discuss in the next video that is the the excess of water when the rain will come what will happen what are the affected Uh, by that floods in that area we will see in the next video thank you all